What's going on, Niner Nation? Welcome back to another edition of 49er Insider. We're going to start things off with the hottest team in Charlotte Athletics, the 49er baseball team. They are now on a seven-game winning streak after sweeping Middle Tennessee at home. TJ Nicktine is on an absolute tear right now. He leads the nation this season in hits with 69. He leads Conference USA in batting average with an average of 401 in this span of seven games. He's batting 471. This dude is on fire. He even won Conference USA's Hitter of the Week. And it's not just TJ doing the work. This past week, six players batted above 300 and three of those six batted above 500. Zach Jarrett in the leadoff spot batting 583 and he came across home plate six times. Hunter Jones is on an absolute tear. A lot looking good for this 49er baseball team, especially with that bullpen who hit a little bit of a rough patch earlier this season. But Philip Perry, Colby Bruce, Jonah Patton, Brandon Vogler, JD Prohaska, all did not give up a single run this weekend. Baseball now sits at 24 and 16 overall and 12 and 6 in Conference USA. Softball only played two games this past weekend after getting rained out on Sunday afternoon against FIU. They went one and one against one of the top teams in Conference USA. Haley Wiseman, after a rough outing in the first game, came back in the second game, pitched a scoreless shutout as the Niners went on to run roll FIU. Haley Pace batted 400 for the week, including a home run, which is number 14 on the year for her, and that ties for 17th in the country. And the Niners now sit at 25 and 20 overall, and 7 and 10 in Conference USA. Football was back this past weekend for the annual green and white spring game. Hassan Klug was back out on the field, throwing for 12 of 14 and 93 yards. Brooks Barton. The redshirt junior threw five of nine for 61 yards and a touchdown, but the offense was led by Trent Bostick, the redshirt senior who set out last year due to injuries. Five catches for 65 yards, and then the defense was led by Anthony Butler, who had a total of seven tackles. The women's tennis team seated number seven in the Conference USA Championships down in Denton, Texas, went on to defeat Louisiana Tech. They were down two to three early in that match, but ended up winning four to three, but ended up losing in the quarterfinals to eventually runner up FIU. Men's tennis also at the Conference USA Championships down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee as the number five seed. Unfortunately lost to Middle Tennessee four to zero. The men's golf team headed down to Texarkana, Arkansas to participate in the Conference USA Championships. The team finished third overall and Seth Gandy shot a two under par after playing in three rounds in stroke play and took home the individual title. And after clinching the three seed for match play, the team will be playing all day today. So you can follow along on charlotte49ers.com to see how the team is doing. Not as busy of a week as it was last week for Charlotte Athletics, but Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for this week. Baseball plays today against Kennesaw State, and then we'll travel down to Birmingham to take on UAB for our weekend series. Softball at Appalachian State on Wednesday, and then we'll also travel to Southern Miss for another weekend series. And then track and field, a split squad. One team will go down to the Penn Relays, and the other to the Virginia Grand Prix. That's all we have for you this week, so make sure to tune in next week, next Tuesday, for another edition of 49er Insider. Go Niners!